アムミちゃんそれあなたのおかげで私は生まれ変われたわ今の私はヴァンパイアノーブル・バリアンとそしてようやくあなたに伝えられるわヘカテリーナそれが私のマナ名実ともにあなたの妻になる。Alright, RE Monster. That is all she wrote, my friend. Spring season of RE Monster is officially done. The first season, potentially the only season of RE Monster. Crossy fingers that that's not true, but potentially the only season of RE Monster is complete. It is done. And、uh, if you check my diary,、uh, hey, we have another day today. This is Dam and I, da, da, da. I did not have in the diary Gabji. The grandpappy, the daddy of all the goblins. I did not have him dying this episode. Now,、uh, like, immediately I was thinking of, like, yo, Mashoko Tensei, if you guys haven't kept up with that, you know, not spoiling anything, but that hit me hard recently. I'm like, yo, what is up with all these father figures just dying in anime? Like, ugh.、Uh, anyways, though, I didn't have that on my bingo card in my diary this week of Gabji dying. Uh, but it was a good send off for him. We found out that, which I think is, is pretty good. No, Gabji was definitely an evolved goblin, but not to the level of anybody in the current Parabellum company. Like all of the, all of the goblins who have sticked by or stuck by、uh, Gaburo or Ogaro, all the ones who have stuck, stuck by him at this point have far, far and away surpassed. Every other goblin before them, they're Onis, they're this, they're Damis, they're Earthies, they're Minotauris, they're, they're out there, right? But we found out that this basic goblin had a pretty long lived, long lifespan <clears throat> in the terms of goblin years. And we found out that Gabji, this really old man, the one who would like to get it on,、uh, had about 20 years under his belt. And、uh, it's a little confusing. Because in the beginning of the anime, they had explained that a lot of time these goblins only live for days or weeks or months.、Uh, but come to find out that that's not necessarily true, that these goblins, you know, they could potentially live as long as Gabji, you know, for upwards of 20 years. And you have to think that now, you know, we have Gaburo or Ogre or whatever, whatever his name is, man. We have,、uh, you know, our boy Roro. And everybody else in the party who has evolved so far and beyond that, we have to imagine that you can times that, you know, 10, 20 years by each evolution. So there's potential these, these, these folks, you know, could live 100 years plus, 200 years, you know? And I think that's pretty cool. And I think one of the things that Gabji, you know, his death brought to the group. Or at very least, our main character was the mortality of life and him thinking about like, You know, I don't know how long I got in this world. You know, this dude lived for 20 years. Whether it's 10 or 20 or whatever, or, you know, more, he's like, I got to make the most out of it with the people around me that matter the most. And, you know, you got to really commend that. And I really did love that moment、uh, this, this episode.、Uh, but let's kind of wrap it up. So, this episode, you know, it had Gabji's death. It had Dami's evolution into like a vampire.、Uh, her, 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 she gave away her real name now. It's like,、uh, Keku, 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 something.、Uh, she gave her real name、uh, you know, to our bro now. And、uh, her real name this episode was, in fact,、uh, well, she's also his concubine now, the Lord's concubine.、Uh, but I was like, okay, Dami finally evolved. But、um, essentially, what, what the hell was her name? You know,、uh, She's a noble variant now.、Uh, he 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 Hecaterina? He Hecaterina? Hecaterina. Hecaterina is her real name, I guess. But Dami's been facing a lot of different stuff and she's been going through the depressiveness. And、uh, through the help of Oguro, she finally was able to evolve into this true vampire variant, this queen vampire. And through her evolutionary line, the prompts had it that she went from like consort to concubine to like the Lord's concubine. And that's what. Leveled her up. So basically, she's the wife of Oguro now,、uh, which I thought was a really, really cool thing. So that happened this episode. There was also a deal that Oguro struck with the princess 
the princess hooked him up with this really cool telecommunication device and basically said, like, hey, I'm going to need your services for later. But this is your princess get out of jail free card of the empire or the kingdom or whatever. Uh, later on at the end of the episode, you know, we had Ogro go on a whole monologue rant about how uh, working with the princess in the kingdom, you know, uh, did, he, he knew they're taking on an important mission, but he didn't know it was this important. Uh, basically hinting that there's some there's some stuff going to happen if they do happen to get a season two, which I think is really cool. Uh, and after that, it was just really the death of Gabchi and finding out that the cave that they once lived in, that, uh, uh, Ogre Kichi and Earth A, like, they really put, did it to the nines, and they built, like, this, like, demon lore type castle entity in the cave, which is dope, like, all kinds of rooms and, like, you know, very castle vibes, which I thought was really dope. Uh, and really loved, and they now have a really cool place to live, and I think that was a big moment this episode, too, and then, you know, like I said, just the foreshadowing for what's to come was really cool as well, and, you know, putting a little bow on everything uh, with the tournament that they had this episode, too, kind of reigniting everybody's vigor uh, as they kind of really, um, f you know, feel victorious over this arc that they had, and uh, there's some Positions that change in Parabellum, and then they all hurrah to the next uh, foray as they've accepted the mission. So, overall, Ari Monster episode 12, really great. I think this was an easy 9 out of 10 episode for me. Uh, seeing the kids, seeing them participate in the tournament, that was extremely cute. Seeing the fact that they got, like, Cat Seath, you know, you know, shout out to Cat Seath from Final Fantasy. But they got, like, some really cool little cat friends in there now. Uh, he said that Parabellum's rolling about 400 deep. I think that was really cool. So, uh, just chef's kiss overall to this episode. So, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. And thank you for joining me all season long. All right, can't wait to read your comments on the final episode. Peace out, my friends.